pulled back really far right now so you can see the entire field of play. We're going to talk about a couple of prevent defensive formations. Uh, one that employs seven defensive backs and one that employs eight defensive backs. Uh, the one that employs eight defensive backs is typically known as dollar formation. Now, technically, uh, a, a formation with seven defensive backs would be historically known as a quarter formation, but that gets really confusing, and I'll explain why. Uh, the eighth defensive back on the field is known as a dollar back, but obviously the seventh defensive back on the field cannot be called a quarterback. I mean, he's simply referred to as the seventh defensive back, but the formation itself historically has been called a quarter formation. But nobody really refers to it that way. It's, it's just prevent defense. And um, I don't think it's difficult to guess what's happening here. The offense is set up in a, uh, a five wide. This is certainly going to be a pass play. This looks like it might be the final play of either the game or the half, doesn't it? It's going to be a Hail Mary pass. So you've got all these defensive backs, you know, most of them in the end zone with a couple out here at the 10. You put these defensive backs anywhere. You put them on stationary base until the pass itself. You can turn their dials for zone defense back here. That might actually be a smarter idea in this uh, scenario. But in the quarter formation, you're going to have uh, four defensive linemen. Or you could have three defensive linemen and one linebacker. I suppose if you really wanted to get technical, you could have two linemen and two linebackers. It hardly matters, though, because the offensive line is going to be uh, completely focused on protecting the quarterback so he can make attempt to pass to however many receivers are on the field running downfield. Now, of course, in EFHL rules, we use the measuring stick for passing sticks here uh, to determine you know, where the ball mark is going to go. Let's, you know, assume that's the uh, the receiver. And, of course, the ball marker would go pretty much right where that uh, defensive back is currently in the end zone. So this formation makes it very, very difficult for an offense to successfully execute a uh, Hail Mary with the passing sticks. Now, with a action figure... You could get real lucky and, and hit your mark and then somehow get by all these defenders into the end zone, certainly. And with the uh, with the uh, alternative dice rolling method for passes included in the EFHL rulebook, you would have to roll a specific number to probably be successful. So all three methods for passing are equally uh, difficult for Hail Marys when you've got your defense set up in cover seven or cover eight. Now... Uh, let's put him back. Now, as far as cover eight goes, uh, well, there you go. That's a defensive back rather than a linebacker. So now you have, you can set these guys up any way you want to. They don't all even have to be that shallow because you never know. The quarterback might throw a, a pass here and then rely on some um, Deion Sanders or Bo Jackson athletics to get by all the uh, the defenders there. But all you really need to remember is that quarter formation is seven defensive backs and dollar formation is eight defensive backs. Most people don't even think of it that way. It's cover seven and cover eight defensive shells, covered shells. But those are your prevent defense uh, formations. And that's it. That's all the defensive formations covered in the EFA show. We've even talked about a few uh, additional ones. So from here, we'll pick up with uh, defensive plays, not nearly as many defensive plays as offensive plays, but we'll start with the big one, the one everyone already knows, the blitz. Till then, have a great day.